Thank you everyone so much for joining. This is John from Vintage Watch Hunter. Uh, so as you can tell, we are in my car and I am driving to work today. I uh, just put some gas in and we're we're headed to Pacific Beach. We have a, we have a really nice drive uh, through San Diego. We're going through um, downtown uh, Little Italy and in Mission Bay. So I thought, you know what? I haven't made a video in like three months. Uh, life has been getting really tough. I'm working on, you know, keeping two businesses afloat in the pandemic, and uh, I just haven't been able to get um, on, you know, on the camera or behind the camera, whatever it is, get things edited, and put them up on YouTube for everyone. Uh, so I was trying to figure out a solution to that because I really do like making content and I like talking about uh, business, online business, small business, and yeah. So the solution I came up with was uh, was this, you know, I, I'm gonna drive to work and just uh, give my thoughts on some subjects, some topics, and then post it online. And hopefully, um, hopefully it's enjoyable. Hopefully you watch it or whatever. Uh, give me a like, subscribe, so we can grow the channel. I would love to get to a thousand subscribers at some point, so we'll we'll see if we can make that happen. Uh, so anyway. Um, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about uh, my businesses today, just kind of an overview, a refresher for myself, <laughs> and maybe for the people who, um, who don't know what, what I do or what we do. So basically, um, I have uh, two companies. I have a vintage watch company called Vintage Watch Hunter, and I have a vintage dead stock eyewear company called Grand & Garnett Vintage Eyewear. Uh, and I've been working on these businesses for about five years. Um, Grand Vintage Watch Hunter since uh, 2016, and Grand and Garnett since basically the beginning of the pandemic, which was um, December of uh, 2019. And my business um, is primarily online, but we have a uh, retail location in Pacific Beach in San Diego. And today I was going to talk about um, my possible move of my retail location from Pacific Beach to North Park. I've been working on this for the past maybe two months. I don't know what's gonna happen, um, but currently I'm in Pacific Beach in an area that is, is not walkable. I'm not down by the beach, I'm down by the freeway if you're familiar with, um, with San Diego. So my area of Pacific Beach is not really that great. There's no foot traffic. I'm in a building that is conducive to like a some kind of a, a office company or, or whatnot, some some stationary company where, where uh, customers don't come in and don't shop. Uh, but for me, um, my business model um, is ever evolving and changing. And when I was a watch company, being in my current location, which is more of an office suite, uh, was fine because everything was online. Um, but now it's it's changing and. Over the past uh, four or five months, I have changed my um, my showroom to sell glasses instead. And we've we've had a lot of people come um, to shop for glasses, and it's been it's been really fantastic. And I'm I'm super excited for the future, um, but not as excited if I were to stay in uh, the location that we're in. So. I've been working on getting a better location and it's been really, really quite difficult. I don't know um, if any of you have tried to uh, lease a commercial property, um, but my, from my experience, it's been pretty straightforward. You pick a location, you go to the owner, you negotiate, and then they just let you in. Because most owners just want someone to be taking the space, you know, and they're gonna get their money. That's basically how it goes. However, this new location um, in North Park is in one of the most popular, or on the most popular street in North Park, uh, which is 30th, and it's at the corner of one of the best cross streets, Adams. So it's at the corner of Adams and 30th. If you know that location, um, then you'll know that there are a lot of really good restaurants, bars, and a lot of other good businesses, a lot of foot traffic um, that I would like to use in order to grow my business. So the problem that I have is that the owners of the unit or the building that I'm looking at also own pretty much every other building on the block. They own, um, if you're familiar, they own Black Market Bakery, they own that building. 
They own the building of Polite Provisions. They own the building of Fortunate Son. Um, it's, it's the whole corner of the street. It's all owned by the same people. And they are very particular about who they want um, to be in their space. So it's not just like I come or anyone comes there and signs, a, signs an agreement, pays them exactly what they want, and they get to go in. They are looking for very uh, specific businesses that complement the other ones that they own or the buildings that they own so that they can have a cultured like or manicured um, manicured street so that everyone can kind of profit in the long run from it and I really respect that um, a great deal but it's it's making it kind of difficult because I'm not sure if they want my business in there I'm talking to the real estate agent uh, who is a very close family friend of theirs um, and They've told me that the owners like my business model, which is going to be uh, my watch business in the back room for online sales, glasses that's gonna take up about 400 square feet of the front, plus another um, set of uh, uh, vintage dealers that I'm gonna sell, <clears throat> excuse me, that I'm gonna lease space to inside the business. So it's, it's gonna be tough. Um, they're, they're excited that I have a vintage business, but I haven't heard from them in about two weeks. And I'm starting to get really um, quite anxious. I've been dreaming about this place at night. I've been dreaming about um, how it's going to look, uh, all the customers that are going to come in and enjoy and shop. But I just can't get a hold of these owners. And it, it's, it's been very difficult to find a good location in San Diego because in most of the neighborhoods that we're interested in, there's already an eyewear store. And I really don't want to, you know, move like three blocks away from another eyewear store and try and compete with them. Uh, that's not, yeah, that's not what I'm interested in. So I've kind of got my hopes set on this um, this particular suite. If I don't get it, then we'll stay in Pacific Beach for a while. But uh, I'd rather not. So anyway, that's one of the bigger things that's um, like been weighing heavily on my on my mind is is whether or not I can get into. Uh, this new this new place and it's a thousand square feet my current location is 500 square feet uh, my current location is on the second floor of an office building this one is like street frontage it's right on the sidewalk people are walking by all day and yeah I, I think it's gonna help um, just kind of expand my business and my ability to do business and my ability to do business in different ways which is something I'm always looking to do uh, and I really don't want my business to get stale, right? So I, I was just selling watches, and now I've kind of pulled back from watches because it's if they're not an e it's not an easy um, product to sell. Uh, they need to be cleaned, they need to be assessed, and all this kind of stuff. Versus glasses that everybody knows, everyone loves. Uh, there's a lot more competition online with Warby Parker and other large companies, Luxottica, all these all these big companies that sell glasses. But I think we fill a niche because we sell only vintage um, dead stock glasses so I'm, I'm hoping that it's uh, more successful um, in a retail location than the watches has been because honestly I could have put that uh, back in my apartment or whatnot and it would have been just the same and I would save some money so yeah so we're actually we're getting closer to the uh, to my store um, I'm right off of, of Garnett Avenue here Mission Bay Drive Garnett Avenue whatever it is off the freeway uh, we passed by downtown. Unfortunately, there's really no good view of the bay. Um, I'll try and get a better view of the bay next time for you guys. But um, yeah, we go past the bay and it's, it's a really nice little drive on the freeway here. Um, and I'm just going the back way to get to my store now. So once I get to my store, we're gonna call it quits for the day. These have just been the uh, the ramblings of a madman, I guess, just for the, <laughs> the last 10 minutes or so. We're testing this out, this is my first video. I'm gonna get to my office and hopefully today I'll be able to just add a little intro and outro to the video. And then from there, we'll put it up on YouTube and you can comment if you'd like, tell me, um, or maybe ask me some questions if you want about uh, the business and my plans for it and what we're gonna do in the next couple of years. I don't think I explained it super well, not really in depth today. Maybe um, I will go over it more uh, tomorrow or the next day. These videos seem quite uh, quite easy to make because I don't have to really edit it that much. Um, I'm gonna try and not edit this at all, actually, just to save myself some headache. But uh, I have a long day of work today. 
trying to run two businesses out of one location. So <laughs> we're gonna do our best, but I'll tell you this, it's not that easy. Uh, the hardest part about a business is growing and understanding when to get a, uh, an employee or not. That's for another video, I'm, I'm rambling again. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. I know I didn't really get into much detail about anything today, but I'm sure tomorrow or the next day I will. So thank you so much. This is John from Vintage Watch Hunter and Grand Garnett, and we'll see you next time.